channel. Uh, today I'm very happy to introduce to you one of the most powerful tools of um, for geoscientists, uh, researchers and geocurious um, minds, uh, which is called the GeoGPT Idea Generator. The first time I saw this, I underestimated what it is all about. I thought it's merely a literature review, uh, finding research trend kind of a thing, but it's well way beyond that. So if you're stuck on your next big research question, you're planning a thesis or you're brainstorming content, this AI powered um, assistant will definitely blow your mind with instant tailored ideas. And what else can we do other than to dive into it? But before we go on to GeoGPT, I'm going to make a very short introduction on what it's all about. So, GeoGPT, as we all know, combines LLMs, right? And uh, what it does here, it's, um, it relies on keyword extraction. Like I said um, in the step-by-step -step guide for GeoGPT, keyword extractions using technique like we used to do in um, Voice Viewer, doing quantitative literature review. So, it's um, work on literature re retriever and to empower researchers with novel research ideas valuable and validated scientific hypotheses and also try to encourage cross-disciplinary collaboration so it's um it's a three-way thing right the ideas that you're going to get are going to be novel and then you got you, the uh, hypotheses that you're going to get are going to be realistic hypotheses because you have a way to say you don't want it during the process of generating the idea or not so remember it's about keyword extraction technology and efficient literature retrieval systems. And this is not only designed for geosciences alone. It's way beyond geoscience. It's for a lot of people. And the workflow is very, very simple. It's a very, very simple workflow. You can use uh, templates that are inbuilt, or you can even generate your own idea starting with a workflow where you put in the topic uh, you, or select the field or you select the ones that are being suggested by GeoGPT itself, you choose the idea and submit it, and it's going to generate a, a, a report. And the report is usually um, sectioned into background knowledge, scientific consensus, logical inference, final scientific hypotheses, and it's going to give it a score in terms of novelty or its feasibility. And then you also have the chance to refine this in evolution. So you can improve the scientific consensus by adding data from, by uploading papers to support or to discount whatever it's been suggested. And you can also refine the hypothesis using the, um, the evolution two technique or generally just restart everything all over again. While I might say you should use this, it's very, very simple. It speeds up idea generation for proposals, for papers, and it can spark interdisciplinary innovation from what I've experienced in the little time that I've uh, used it. And um, it bridges data with insight and enhances your research quality and impact as, um, as a person. So let's get down to GeoGPT. We sign in into GeoGPT and uh, we start brainstorming ideas. So once you sign into GeoGPT, You go to uh, get started. I already signed in, so I don't need to do that several times again. And then, under research tool, you go to idea generation. And then you are going to have a list of suggestions here. Beyond the direct effect on calcifying organisms, how does ocean acidification, that is um, paleontology and the climate effect. But you can type in your own um, your own prompt to get ideas, right? Let me do something within the um, region of the mineral uh, exploration. Let's talk about AI. AI um, assisted mineral prospectivity in volcanic terrains. In volcanic terrains. Let's see what that's going to give us. And then you hit um, the wrong key and it's going to run that do some basic analysis itself, prepare itself to 
Um, I offer you suggestion on three novel idea directions that you can take. The first one they say is multi-source data fusion for mineral exploration. Here you investigate the development of advanced AI techniques for fusing multi-source geospatial data. That can be very reasonable. Machine learning based alteration mapping. I think this can be very, very um, novel. And then structural analysis and mineralization predictions. I was going to go for machine learning. Anything ML or AI will sell. So you choose the direction you want it to go and you click submit. And based on this, it's going to develop a report for you. Uh, the background to it, look at literature and start extracting it. Now we are searching for literature not yet. Please wait for a while. That can take a while to do. And then uh, it's going to populate it with as much information as possible, thinking. So it's suggesting a title, looking at different papers from multimodal self-supervised terrain recognition to impact crater analysis for age estimation to vision-assisted reinforcement learning. Suggestions on papers, on ideas, I think it are quite uh, novel. Application of uh, convolutional neural networking in surf surface deformation detection content. And now it has proposed a method, a title, which is uh, machine learning enhanced hydrothermal alteration mapping in volcanic terrain. I think people in this field, they will find this quite uh, interesting and also develop hypotheses for it and also did some kind of scoring for, for it. Now, this is your report. The report is the background to it, the research direction, the scientific consensus and also the inference process. So how it has arrived at getting this and it has developed a number of hypotheses for this. So an evaluated evaluation section where it has evaluated. So the score in terms of novelty is 8, 8.0. So we can have a quick look at that. So first, let's zoom a bit on so you can see the screen better. It says a background machine learning enhanced hydrothermal alteration mapping in volcanic terrains. Uh, the scientific question raised in this context revolve around the effective mapping of hydrothermal alteration zones in volcanic terrains, which are critical indicators of mineralization. Okay, the challenge include dealing with large spatial scales, inaccessible terrain, erosion, and tectonism, all of which can obscure or complicate the identification of these zones. This is um, very valid. Right, so the direction is this the consensus about what people believe about it is here, and then you see the novelty. So, the next thing is to evolve uh, this idea further. If you think the consensus is um, inaccurate, you can check it here and um, say it is inaccurate and supply some literature to enhance it further. If you think it's good enough, you can say accurate consensus and then you evolve the reasoning further. Please de describe the issue in the current consensus, uh, hypothesis, reasoning process and idea generation as well as direction for improvement. I think this is novel I should be pursued, right? So, yeah. Um, and then it's going to develop it into, yeah, a full, um, a full um, report. Yeah, and you can regenerate, you can rewrite and do all of those. But you don't actually need the evolution too if you agree with it. But if you don't agree with it, if you need to enhance it with some publications that you already uploaded in your library, you can refer to that, drag them in from the library here, and then you use them to to support um, the work here. Okay, now the evaluation has increased to 9 in terms of um, the novelty. And you can copy, you can regenerate, you can like, you can dislike, and you can download it as a report. Mm -hmm. And then I'll say idea generator. Let me try something in um, geothermal. Geothermal energy in continental, in continental rift zones. Um, yeah. So probably I, it's because of the, 
the CO2 spelling in the previous one. And then it's going to give you insight into, let's say, structural control and reservoir characterization, thermal regime and heat flow, hydrothermal systems and fluid circulation. I think I'll choose this. Something I'm quite familiar with. And I'll say submit. And it will generate ideas for you. Look through the consensus. And then you can evolve the idea. So, um, it's it's a game changer in my opinion. So, ChatGPT can help this way also. But this is more uh, skewed towards your sciences. Or let's say, both basic and applied sciences. And then if you're not using it, then it's, um, it's really up to you uh, but i think it's something that can really enhance your research quality the brainstorming process and um, the novelty of some of the work that you're doing and um, like i always say it's your responsibility it's an it's a co-pilot it's not an autopilot you have to take responsibility and validate the information that is being um, provided to you i've done so many vi videos on how you can validate that using google scholar and some other platforms and I'll still do more on ethical issues in um, the use of AI for our academic research and publishing. So let's see what it has done here. It's the new title is Fault Geometry and Fluid Composition uh, Influence Geothermal Production in Continental Rich Zone. We can once we have that we can do a Google Scholar search if there is something like that. And the hypothesis is that the efficiency and Sustainability of geothermal energy production in continental rift zones are significantly influenced by the geometry of faults and chemical composition of geothermal fluid. Okay, and then the scoring is a nine. Okay, let's see if we have something like this. Copy, and then we'll do a quick fact fact checking in Google Scholar, and then. Um, I will see and then um, this returned to um, 20 and to 20, 20,200 results which might not necessarily be related to um, all of those so we can add booleans and say and or, or and then we can stream that streamline that, that you have to validate to check what has been returned to you so try this out and let me know in the comment section how you feel about it and remember to listen to the advice about ethical issues and the use of AI in academic writing and research. Thank you. AI can help you think faster, but not think less. It can be your creative mirror, not your intellectual crutch. Let it support your curiosity, not suppress your judgment. Stay bold, stay ethical, and above all, stay curious. Uh, click the like button, share the video with your friends, make comments on areas to improve, and if you have suggestions on other tools you want me to look at, let me know. Thank you, and uh, stay blessed. Bye.